Hello, hello, and welcome to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. I am also one of the trainers with Notary Educators, which includes myself, Kimmy Nunnally, Angela Johnson, and Alexis Franklin. We each own our own very successful notary businesses and teach notaries in all 50 states to be great and grow their own business. We will discuss general notary work, apostilles, ink fingerprinting, and the duties of a notary signing agent, and much, much more. For all of your notary needs, please visit notaryeducatorsllc.com. We hope you enjoy the show, and we wish you much success. Hello, hello, and welcome to Notary Life with Kimmy. I am Kimmy along with Alexis. You want to say hey, Alexis? Hello, everyone. Welcome to Mental Monday. Yes, hey, welcome, welcome. So welcome to everyone who is here. Um, Don't see any names in the chat yet, but welcome to those who will watch this on the replay. And it's our pleasure to come on Monday nights just to share um, what we know about notary with you, the notary business to answer all of your questions, whatever that may be. And it's all about you. So, hey, Rose R and Facebook. Let's see, who's that on Facebook, Alexis? Can you tell? I'm logging in right now. So, hey, Facebook, welcome, welcome. So, so guys, um, hey, VD, Melissa, Claudia. Now everyone's popping up. Oh, Claudia made the live for the first time. I know it's a holiday, guys. Hello. But we're of the mindset, if you're going to be here, we're going to be here as long as you want us to be. And hey, Nakendra, Nakendria, hey, Liliana, hey, CC. Yes, yeah, so we are here. Hey, NS, is it, uh-oh, N-S-U-R-C-H-U-V. I don't know who that is, but hi, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, everybody. So did you have any stories you want to share tonight? Hey, Danielle, Sheila, Claudia, anything you want to share, Alexis? Uh, no, it, something Not might really. be. So. Okay. Uh, well, I had something that happened today, actually. So a lady called me. She went to the UPS store to get something notarized. Hey, Angela um, and everybody on Facebook, because I can't always see your names on Facebook unless you get permission to StreamYard or something. But welcome, everyone. If anyone wants to come up to, I'll put the link in there. You can feel free to hop on stage with us. So what happened with me today was my UPS person. She went to UPS and they told her that she they could not notarize the document because what she was trying to do is not have the date put on there. People ask us the craziest things. So she wanted me to notarize it because it was going to Jamaica. You guys know I always say your documents may come from all over the world. This particular document was going back to Jamaica and it was involving a property. So they didn't want it dated for today's date because they didn't know when the transaction was going to happen. So I told her, well, I cannot control what she puts in her information but as far as i'm concerned i have to stamp today's date i have to write today's date in the notarial block so ups didn't even want to have anything to do with it so i told her my price or whatever she's like i'm on my way because i got to get it done today so then i guess she called her attorney or whoever in uh, jamaica and they told her that it was fine if it was dated so she went ahead and let ups do it but my point of saying all of that is be careful because people will ask you to do some crazy stuff. You cannot future date. You cannot back date. When I say future date, today is June 20th. You cannot put June 24th because they have a closing on the 24th, and that's what date they need the document to say. You cannot back date it. They forgot to get something done. Now they want to come back to you and say, hey, can you put May 20th on there? No, we cannot. It has to be exactly what it is. Oh, hey, thank you, Danielle. Hey, Aaliyah, Chandra, Sharonda. I'm sorry. Hey, welcome, Makiva, Shannon, Doc DC. What's up, people? Doc DC. Hey, welcome, everybody. So go ahead and start dropping your questions in the chat, whatever you want to talk about. In the meantime, I'm going to show you my fingerprint kit because I've been promising for the last three weeks and I keep forgetting. Uh oh, my earring, earring got caught. Okay, this is my fingerprint kit. It's a little heavy. I did get this from Walmart and I had another one, but it bust on me. So I paid a little bit more for this one. So it's heavy because I actually have a couple extra journals in there. 
Um, I have a little bit more than my fingerprint stuff. So I keep this in my car. So I do have, actually, I have a little bit of everything. I got my FedEx packages in there, some empty ones, just in case. Because it's, it's such a nice size um, accordion type thing. So you can see all my stuff. Eh, can y'all see it? Okay, so now let me just show you the fingerprint stuff. So what I keep from my fingerprint kit is my fingerprint instructions. Cause I never know what may happen. I'm, I filled out the cards a dozen times, but just in case I get someone to come in with pink hair or whatever, what should I put, right? Mm -hmm. I also have my fingerprint thinkies, my little stamp pads. I keep a bunch of these. Somebody asked me in the chat recently, how many cards do I keep? I have pack. I have to keep a pack of everything. This is a pack of 50. I may not use all 50 and I don't even know what time frame, but I have extra two. So I never want to run out because when your phone rings, again, you want to be able to do everything, right? I also have my I-9 instructions here in Spanish because if you're doing the I-9, you're supposed to have this with you at all times, the instructions. The client may say, may I see the instructions, instructions? And you need to be able to produce that. So I have that in there, English and Spanish. Some more FedEx stuff and some blank I-9 forms. I have English and Spanish. Never filled out a Spanish one yet. A few extra masks. So this is my little catch-all, actually. But the main thing is this is supposed to be for is my fingerprint. And I have some extra acknowledgments and some directs and also more FedEx supplies. So you always want to be ready, okay? So that's my fingerprint kit, I promise. And again, yours doesn't have to be this heavy. But like I said, I try to prepare for every case because I don't know what my, I might run into out there, okay? <laughs> so that's it. I think it was only like $25.99. The cheaper one I bought was like $12.99. That thing bust on me like a rubber band. <laughs> so you cannot always be cheap. <laughs> you cannot. All right. So we'll start answering some of your questions. I'm going to be reading the um, chat tonight. So we'll get right into it. Alexis, if you keep an eye on Facebook, Angela's supposed to join us, guys. She may be a little late. Um, hopefully, she's just being safe out there. So let's start with Sharonda. She says, hey, she just received the notary journal from the notary educators. Yes, and she is referring to, thank you for buying that, Sharonda. That's going to be for all your specialty work. For the I-9, ink fingerprinting, apostilles. That's what these are for. And they're only $9.99. And they're really nice, actually. So you can keep all of your specialty work in these journals. Because people often say, well, where do I write my specialty work? Anything special or extra different? It goes right here. They come in pink, purple, black, and gray. Okay? So thank you again for your purchase. Hello, everyone. I'm going to just get right into the questions, okay? So then Claudia says, newly commissioned. And I am following all your videos, Google My Business um, videos. Everything has been very helpful. Thank you, Claudia. And you guys know Alexis is our person to go to for Google. Um, she has a different arrangement now. We might as well talk about it really quick. Alexis, would you like to explain your new process as far as Google My Business is concerned? Yeah, so it's pretty straightforward. So one, if you are ready, and by ready, I mean your page is verified, not suspended. If it is suspended, remember you have to contact Google or you have to make a new page. So verify, not suspended. If you are ready to go, please contact me and we will kind of go from there. Um, if your page is already up and running and you just have questions in regards to how to maximize your page, what to add to your page and so forth, please contact me and we'll go ahead and set up an appointment. So if you are ready to set up that appointment, please, please, please reach out. So that's kind of the change. Um, I just want everybody to be ready and prepared. So that way, when I come in, it's easier for us to hit the ground running and get you what you need. So when you come, just make sure when you email me, when you reach out, pages either verified and ready to go, or um, if you already you know, have started your Google My Business page, and you just want to maximize, just make sure that you're ready for that as well to schedule an appointment with me. So if you are in our Facebook group, which is Notary Educators, and you want someone just to look at your page, hey, I wonder how does it look? Do I have enough pictures? 
I don't know if you guys saw the question I asked uh, last week. Does your face, I mean, does your um, Google page look like a piece of dry toast or does it look like a colorful fruit basket? So I had a few mixed reactions out there. Some people said theirs was they look like <laughs> theirs look like dry toast. <laughs> Some people said it looked like mangoes and tomatoes and everything, all colorful and pretty, right? So, and it was funny because somebody went back in our Facebook group and they actually made the comment. At first, they said, "Well, people call me," and then they thought about it again. And then I thought their um, point was very interesting. They said people call them, but it's only when they when she picked up the phone. They let her know, I called two or three other notaries prior to calling you. Yeah. So she said, well, why are they not calling me first? So she had to go back and look at her page. Right. So you don't want to be the second, third, fourth notary. You want to be the number one notary in your area. And just having a maximized, nice, colorful picture, uh, pictures on your site where it looks alive, that might be the difference between them calling you or you're just an afterthought. Oh, let me just call this number right here because I couldn't get nobody else. No, I've had many people say your page was just so professional and they don't know I did it myself. I did everything on my page myself. So again, to go back to what Alexis was saying, if you want your page just to be looked at by your fellow notaries, hey, what's your thought on my page, my pictures or whatever, then you're going to let put it in the Facebook group and then we'll all look at it. If I get time, I'll look at it. If Alexis has time, she'll look at it. But she doesn't have time, guys, because she actually works also. As we always tell you guys, we are working notaries. She doesn't have time just to look at your Google My Business page. So she has been trying to do that and trying to accommodate, but that's not working. Her business is suffering. So you guys know around in notary educators, we're going to put our business first, right? So we're going to continue to help you guys. And we're very serious about our businesses. We are. So we're going to continue to help our fellow notaries, but that's going to look just a little different going forward. Okay. Again, feel free to drop it in the, in the chat or the Facebook. Hey, look at my page. And we all got you. People love to give their opinion, right? Yes. So um, they will definitely help you. Your business cards, drop it over there too. Any questions like that? Facebook is our new primary way of communicating these days. And it's actually working out because people are learning as we're going through it. Alexis, can you give me some of those questions in Facebook, please? Um, mm -hmm. If you'll refresh your screen, and then I'll come back over here to my chat. The first one I saw was from Victor. Hey, Victor. Hold on, it's refreshing now. Mm -hmm. When I did that, my life went away. Okay, while you're doing that, I'll go back over here then. So Sharonda um, says, what if the signer already dated on the other parts of the document? But then the notarial statement I put today's date, is that okay? Yes, it is. Whatever date they have on their document, it doesn't matter. What is important is our notarial part. What you touch, what you touch. Okay, Danielle says it's a great idea to have both languages. Yeah, because we do have a lot of English and Spanish. I've never actually had to pull out the Spanish, but I always, like I said, I try to be prepared. Uh, let me know when you're ready, Alexis, because I think I see Victor's question. Have you guys ever done yeah, a certified copy? Mm hmm Okay. Hey, Victor, I can see your question here now. So, yes, I have done a certified copy. Um, the NNA has an excellent video on that, how to certify a copy. So Google it, certify a copy, um, NNA, and it'll pop up. But I'm going to just tell you the process quickly. First, you want to make sure your state allows you to certify a copy. That is a common, common request. So if you don't know how to do it, I'm going to highly recommend you self-teach yourself how to do that, okay? Um, you're going to look at the copy. Sometimes you actually make the copy. There's a couple different ways you can do it. So I'm going to give you one way. Several ways to always do everything, almost, okay? But one way is you physically make the copy, and that's how you're saying you saw that it's a copy. You're going to put a certified copy stamp on it. The customer, um, then you'll notarize it, ask them do they want acknowledgement or giraffe, whatever, saying that that's a true certified copy. You put the certified copy stamp on it, and then you do it. I, you know what? I got to get out the other way. Other way is the customer bring me the copy. I don't know that it's a real copy. So I let them say that it's a copy. Either way, they're going under oath or direct um, acknowledgement again, certified copy stamp. Then I'm going to put my notary stamp on it and all that. So it's a couple of different ways to do it. So if you don't know, I do recommend you learn how to do it. And the NNA has an excellent video on it. First, check your state though. See what your state process is. We always go back to our state. Danielle says, do you have wipes? Um, I also have gloves. Oh, yeah, I have wipes. So my wipes are actually in my basket in my car. I'm going to um, 
Oh, how can I take you guys to my car? Hmm. I'll do Facebook Live one day and take you to my car again. That's what I'll do. On the next Facebook Live we do, I'll show you my car. And we'll go through that step by step. I do have a video on my supplies in my car. So just check it out. I got a couple of them out there. But we'll actually do the car one again. Anything on Facebook, Alexis? Uh, Claudia just was asking, is there a fee for your service? Yes, for Google My Business, there is. And oh, then she said, oh, that would be great. I would be in contact. So yeah, just email me whenever you all are ready. Yes. And when you are joining the Facebook group, guys, there is one extra question. Um, people often miss it. So we're not declining you from joining a group. The last question that everyone always misses is four questions. The last one is, do you agree to the rules from the admins? So just are you going to be in compliance? That's all. So just hit yes and you'll be admitted. A lot of times people say, hey, you decline me from the group. You just need to answer that last question. It's four questions you have to answer. OK. Uh, so Rose R says, okay, question number one, can we sign documents for any person in jail or prison in Georgia? Yes, you can notarize any document as long as the person is right in front of you. Yeah, so Rose, sounds like you may need some training. Not, don't let me assume, but that kind of question right there lets me think you might need some training. So if you do, reach out to us at Notary Educators LLC and we'll see best where we can um, assist you, okay? Oh, Danielle says she ordered the pink um specialty journal thank you and then um stephanie says hello where do you keep your stamp and embosser in the car too actually that's all in my bag stephanie my embosser i do have a couple extra stamps in my um car and in this bag right here i keep my ink and i keep um i have an extra certified copy stamp i have two of those so i have that in here too okay hey carlos welcome hey audrey stephanie welcome everybody so yeah, the main supplies are in my car though, uh, in my bag. Mm -hmm. Alexis, you had anything you want to add about supplies? Nope. Anything from Facebook? Uh, yeah, let's see. Victor says, I did one a while ago. I went to the client's home and watched her make the copy. Then I compared it to the original and attached a certificate to it. In Massachusetts, we have a specific cert certificate for it yes very good so you see how you have to know your state process and there are several ways you can do that and you can charge even maybe a little bit more for that depending on what your state says when it's going out the country for international documents i do add a little premium price on that okay um carla says just joining stephanie says do you need to buy the mini stamp in your supplies or just a regular size stamp and embosser right stephanie i recommend getting the um rectangular size so you have your round stamp, which is usually pretty big. It doesn't fit most documents. Now, if your state says you have to have a round stamp, that's all you can have. But if your state does not say it doesn't matter, then I'm going to have two. Some states cannot have two. But if you can, you want to have two. You want to always have a backup because it can break, fall, especially when you start doing long signing, run out of ink. Anything can happen. You need to have that, that stamp ready to go because if you can't stamp a paper, there's no need of you going to a job. Okay? So um, if you want to get the mini one, someone just put that in our Facebook group the other day. It's so doggone cute from the National Notary, something or another. And it's like, it was $25. I think I'm going to go ahead and get it just because it's so cute. Um, I found that my little regular rectangular one fits most documents, though. But I did like the mini one. So that's totally up to you, okay? Uh, let's go to, let's see. Anything else you have, Alexis? No, oh, Rose says she does need the training. So let me come, let's go back up and then I'm going to come back down to Rose. Where are we at? Uh, I think we're right here at 8 11. Stephanie says that's awesome. Maybe we can grab a cup of coffee one day. I mean, it, oh, that's somebody else. They're having a private chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, I thought Angela was in another state. Okay. What's on Facebook, Alexis? Nothing on Facebook. Next thing okay. I see is Audrey. Hi, um, everybody on Facebook. And Audrey says, I made an Outlook email account and now having problems getting in and my business cards have my email on it. How do I connect back in? Back into what, Audrey? Are you talking about Facebook or what are you connecting to? I might have missed something. Email. I don't understand the question. Is it for us? Said, or is it I, I'm assuming it's for us, but she said I made an Outlook email account. Like she made an email account and she can't get into it. 
and the business cards have that email address on them. So she's trying to figure out how to get back into the email account. I would just reach out to Outlook. I mean, that's I, not I have no clue. I, yeah. I don't. I, I would use Outlook at work. And then when I messed up at work with my Outlook, I would call my IT department. Right. <laughs> so sorry. I can't reach out to that Outlook. one. Uh-huh. And in worst case, if you just cannot get it fixed and you haven't given that email out to a lot of people, I'm big on let's get it started. Let's just yeah. start over and order some new ones, get a new email address. Mm-hmm. Worst case. Angela said, I saw an old book on TikTok. Do you know where I can buy one? Angela, you don't really need an oath book. Why do you need an oath book? Um, can you clarify what you mean? If you mean just like, do you swear to tell the truth or whatever? You can Google that or see what your handbook says. I don't see why you need a whole book on different oaths. I say the same little thing every time. Uh, do you swear that the information contained in the documents true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? Boom. Yes or no. I mean, yeah, I don't know why you would need a whole book, but you let me know because I might be missing something. Okay um let's see jasmine says what is the face group name wonder if i'm already in it hey jasmine so it's notary educators is our facebook group and you do not have to have taken any of our classes to be a member okay it's completely free all right um let's go down to michelle Newton here i'm in the process of getting business cards should i include a photo or not what do you think alexis yes <laughs> A hundred percent, yes. I always make the um, connection to like real estate agents. When you see their stuff, um, business cards, ads, billboards, or anything, they always have a photo of themselves. Mm-hmm. And that could be the difference between, it could be somebody like, oh, I like how this person looks. I like how they're smiling. That can be a client just off that one little thing. So yes, add your photo. A lot of people stray away from it and on Google as well. Add your photo. A lot of people try to stray away from it, but it does make a difference. Am I going to pick the person who I can literally see who's coming to my home, or am I going to pick the person who has their logo up? So add your photo. Yes, put your smiling face out there everywhere. I totally agree. I have a couple of business cards. I'm going to see if I can find them, guys, because I actually have um, my very first set. I did not have my picture on there, right? And I look at that card now. I, as a matter of fact, I really think I threw them all away because I was like, why would I even give that out? They're not going to use it. It's going right in the trash. What they call it? Recyclable something? Recyclable bin or something? It's going right in the trash, right? I really think I threw them all out. I had about another 50 left for my very first order. And I was like, it's, I don't even like it. It's boring, right? So if I don't like it, well, do I really think the client is going to call me? So anyway, now, like I always say, I'm like Alexis. Watch my video on business cards. Um, if you haven't seen it already, I put my face on everything. Yeah. I'm like one of these people out there, my brand, my marketing, that's all the rage for 2022 or whatever. I put my face on everything. My my face is on my, I didn't put it on my journal because I thought that was like, <laughs> but on my, on my books, I actually had a conversation with several people before I published these. This one is for all states, start your business. This one is for the state of Georgia, right? And I had a conversation with people and they were like, nah, I don't think you should put your face. Most people put their face on the back of the book. Right. I was like, why would I do that? This is my book. I, I wrote the book. I'm a little special sometimes. So I, anyway, so I put it on the front and I believe in my heart that that's, people want to know who they're doing business with. Yeah, they want to see you, you know. So why would I put it on the back? You know, like you go and get your hair done or whatever. You usually want to sit in the front so everybody can see you. If you go to a concert, you ain't trying to sit in the back normally unless you, you know, bought the back seats. You want to sit in the front. You know, certain things we always want to go to the back, but other things you want to be in the front. So yeah. Anyway, my I put my picture on everything. Your card, your picture should be on your card. I think so. Yeah. Rose said, yeah, I need the A to Z training, LOL. So, Rose, a couple things for you, okay? So, if you don't want to do the A to Z training, you want to talk about the the two um, courses live training that we offer right now, Alexis, on sale? And I'll talk about the online courses. Yeah. So, our live courses, the first one is the Notary Basics course that Angela and Kimmy teaches. So, that's literally three hours of a lot of information live. I mean, they're so detailed with that course. If you're in a different state, 
They try to pull up different little things about your state so that you walk away, whatever state, doesn't matter, you walk away feeling confident to get going in your notary journey from the bottom, okay? I mean, learning certificates, going over certificates, verbiage. They have a lot of different stuff in that course. It's amazing, especially if you, you know, you're literally just starting, you got your stamp, you're ready to go. Perfect course for you. And then if you are like someone who you know your notarizations, you, you got everything down packed, you're ready for that next step in your business, and you've done some notarizations too, and you're ready for that next step in your business for loan signing, then we do have the loan signing course as well, the notary signing agent. It's me and Kimmy that teaches that course. And same thing, it's live, three hours, amazing course, jam-packed with so much good information. I mean, we go over signing companies, we go over different documents that you will find in loan packages that a lot of notaries tend to miss different little things on. Um, we go over the process of how you'll get um, your assignments from signing companies, um, how to stand out and be that preferred notary signing agent in the business since it's so since it's so many of us now, you know, how to stand out. Um, and we go over how to close the assignment as well. So that is really, if you are fresh out of taking the NNA course and you want like a bridge course, I always say, into the real world of actually going to an assignment, our course is perfect for you. Or if you haven't taken the NNA's course and you just took that small package, the test and the background check, our course is perfect for you as well. So either wherever you're at, notary educators have something for you um, along your notary journey. Yes. Yeah, so right now, um, I don't know how many of you know or not, I had mentioned it a couple of times, but this month was rather challenging for us because I lost my father-in-law last month and we were busy all month long planning different things. And we finally had the memorial service this past Saturday. Um, so we didn't offer any online courses on the weekend because we just didn't know what was going on. So instead of that, what we offered for the month of June only right now is the same price that we normally teach the um, classes. You can do a one on one with either myself or Alexis or Angela, just you and I, you and them, um, you and one of them about either the basic course, again, which takes you from basic notarizations, because if you don't know how to notarize, you have no business. And then we teach you how to build the business in that course. And as Alexis already mentioned, all the things about the notary signing agent course. Now, for those of you who are um, don't mind self-teaching, I have my online courses on sale until the end of June. We have about 10 more days. They're $24.50. And the notarize like a pro is like you and I sitting in a room and I'm teaching you how to notarize documents. It's an amazing course. The feedback has been great in the uh, Facebook chat. And uh, you guys are really, really shining out there. And it's, it's really touching my heart. So many people saying, I didn't know what to do. I feel more comfortable. And I try to screen print them and put them everywhere I can. <laughs> All the reviews, I really appreciate it. And then we have the ink fingerprinting course on sale right now also. The I-9 um, form. So there are videos on YouTube how to complete the I-9, but no one's going to teach you like I do how to fill it out. I take you step by step every... Um, several different ways to fill out the I-9, okay? So you can watch a YouTube video and you can try it. I, I'm not against that. I self-taught myself a lot of things, but I don't want you to think that you're just paying uh, $24.50 so I can get more money. The I-9 course is an actual course. It's not just me showing you what they do on YouTube, okay? It's a real course. It's, again, you and I, and I teach you how to fill it out. The ink fingerprinting, again, is like you and I, I'm showing you how to roll it, how to fill out the form correctly. Because if you don't fill out the form correctly, it's not going to work. If the prints are not rolled correctly, it will be rejected, okay? Then the last course I have is build your business, build your notary business. And that goes kind of with the uh, notarize like a pro. So after you learn how to notarize, now you want to know how to build your business. So that when you and I in a room again, take you kind of step by step um do you need a business checking account do you need business credit we talk about all that in the video okay so check those out to the end of june 24 dollars 50 for each course there's not a way to purchase them all together i'm working on that so you have to physically go in there and buy each one and the coupon code is notary which is already on the website <clears throat> excuse me it's on the website at notaryeducatorsllc.com okay all the information is there 
So we'll get back to the chat. Um, Liliana says after, and it, I was kind of reading this. So I can't wait to read it. Liliana <laughs> says after she uh, went from a dry piece of toast with her website to a fruit basket on her page, she ended up adding online booking and the next day got booked for an I-9. The customer said it was easy and awesome process. So do you see how making little changes can equate to big dollars? Just changing the page, whatever she did to it, it went from one thing overnight, changed into something different. And now she it, she made some money from it. So you want to make changes, guys. Don't be stuck. You know, back in the day, maybe you didn't want to put your picture on everything. Well, nowadays, that's the only way the world functions, okay? They want to see who you are before you get there. They Google you before you get there. Yeah. You know, have, I Google my sign, my signers. When I'm doing long signings, I don't want to just go to no house and I don't know where I'm going. I'm Googling the neighborhood. I'm doing a street view. I want looking them up. Who are they? <laughs> so, yeah, I, just like we Google people, they're Googling us. And when we pop up and there's nothing there, I don't know if I want that notary coming inside my papers. Who is she? Who is he? So they want to see who you are. So Rose said, is the ebook still in the $5.99? It's actually $9.99 now. Um, that's been a, a while ago since it was $5.99. So it's actually $9.99. You can get it free on Kindle. And then if you want the paperback, which I didn't realize how popular paperback was, guys. When I put these out, it was people really, really like the paperback. So it's a little note section in the back where you can write notes. So I, um, again, orange is for Georgia. And then the gray one is for all other states, okay? Angela's in Columbus. Oh, okay, I've been near Columbus, Angela. Yeah, we talked about that. Okay. And she said her, Audrey said her email is locked out. So, yeah, we can not help you with any IT. Call the company direct. Um, email them and let them know what's going on. Again, if it doesn't work for some reason, then I'm just going to ditch it and give me a new email. I'm not stalling my business because it's not working. Anything in Facebook, Alexis? Yeah. So Victor said, I add a picture of myself to all my marketing materials. It humanizes my business and people seem to like it. Got a lot of views on Google My Business. That's completely true. Yes. Completely and views true. will eventually equal to money. And Victor actually put in the Facebook group, guys, one of his flyers that he used and people went crazy in Facebook. They loved it. So imagine if we like it as fellow notaries. Right. What is the client saying about his page, right? If we like it and we're of his peers and we're like, dang, that's pretty nice. If I'm the regular average Joe and I'm looking for somebody to come and do my documents, am I going to call Victor? Probably. And it was a nice when I saw it myself. Mm -hmm. I commented on it. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Victor does some nice work on his um on his um graphics. Yes. <coughs> Alexa, anything else? Yeah, Florence, yeah, a couple more things. Florence says, hello. Hey Florence. Hey Florence. Uh, Carly says condolences to you and your family. Thank you. And Faye says, is the online course for the LSA as detailed as the one-on-one -on -one class? So we don't have an online yeah. LSA yet. We don't it's have coming. A, it's coming though. We don't have an online yeah. LSA yet. That's in the works. And also Angela's working on the apostille course. Guys, I'm telling y'all, I would tell y'all to blow up her email, but she would get mad because we trying to, what's up, Angela? We putting your blast. Where the course at? You been talking about it now. Come on. She'll watch the replay, y'all. <laughs> and Alexis will, will uh, um, be working on that LSA course, okay? Long signing. So we don't have that yet. Those are just live. That's a live class right now. Uh, anything else on Facebook? Yes. Uh, Carly says, I hope I'm saying that. Carlos and I hope I'm saying that right. Carlos says, are the courses reviewable? Yes, the ones that um the online courses you own those. That is correct. You own them. Yep, twenty four dollars and fifty cent. That price will be changing July first. It really will. July first. That is, that was a summer special because it's not that I don't value it at more than twenty four dollars and fifty cents. We were actually doing a favor because we love our audience so much. People were like, "Hey, Kimmy, I'm going on vacation." I got graduation. I got weddings coming up. I want to do some training while I'm off from work or whatever. And I was like, you know what? We're going to extend it. We actually started this last month when we did our Georgia meet and greet. That's how it all came about. We offered the special to all of our Georgia notaries that were at the meet and greet. 
So then the next day I said, you know what? Let's offer it to all of our viewing audience. Well, it went over so well, we were like, well, let's continue it for the month of June. Because again, people had a lot of other financial obligations and stuff. So we we understand that. You know, we got bills too, but we were trying to help everybody out. So everybody wins. So they're on sale to June 30th, and that price will be changing. So uh anything else on Facebook before I move on? Yeah, just last thing. Um, just two comments. Joanne says hello from Michigan. Michigan. Hello, Joanne. You know, we're both from Michigan. Yeah, we and, are. Um, Carly says the meet and greet was amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We're mm -hmm. going to get that video out soon, guys. Now, hopefully Jeffrey is watching because he got to put the video together. So, Jeffrey, well, you know what? We got to get Jeff a pass, y'all, because he's been going through a lot. I'm sorry, babe. I didn't mean to put you on blast. I just thought about what happened. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, Jeffrey, we, we do forgive you for not getting the video ready. Yeah, he's had a lot going on. You see, I just transport myself somewhere else right quick. Yeah, it's been rough, guys. Um, now let me go back to that part of my life. Yeah, it's been very rough. So, okay, we're going to do that. Now let's move back over to the question. So at 819, we had somebody say, so where can I purchase a type of journal that offers privacy? I'm hoping to ask the question correctly. Yes, if you're talking about the integrity journal, which is the one we all use, it's one page per person. And that way the next client can't see who was um, whose information that was written there before. Or they can't see the pricing also. Or there's also something called a privacy guard, the NNA, NNA sales. You might can get on Amazon. I don't know. I don't use that. But it's a privacy guard that you can try to put per page or something like that. But I don't, I don't do, use that. I just use the Integrity Journal. All the supplies that we ever talk about, guys, I have it all in my Amazon store at notaryeducatorsllc.com. So you don't have to try to look on Amazon and find everything. A lot of people were going crazy about the arthritis ink pen that we showed you the last couple of weeks and the um, signature card guard for the blind or elderly. So look at um, Notary Educators LLC and click the supply list and you'll see everything that we recommend. OK, it's not that much, so. Check it out over there. And then Chandra says, do you recommend getting my state's notary primer? What's your thoughts on that, Alexis? Uh, uh yeah. First, if you know you can't get your notary handbook, um, get the notary primer, yeah. I'm gonna always say get your state handbook, guys. I don't care where you are, get your some of them are um free. Some of them, like our state, we have to pay for it. It's ten dollars. It doesn't come electronically, some states come electronically. So if you can get electronic primer, uh, not primer, electronic handbook, get your state handbook first because that's the law. That's what you're going to go by. The primer, it just explains it a simpler way, you know? So the state might be all, duh, 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 you must do A, B, C, but the primer is going to say, break it down really simply for you. So I don't have a primer. I just believe in using my state handbook. If you want one, it's only $20. It's a good investment in your business. Okay, that way you have two things you can reference. Um, but please get your handbook. And the question was in our Facebook group the other day, too. Someone said, Well, how do you use your state handbook? How do you study it? And the recommendation I'll always give is cover to cover. I've read my state handbook two times, mm -hmm. back to back, and I still reference it. Someone called me one time and said, Can I notarize for a baby? So I'm like, mm, I, I looked at it, but it had been a while ago. This is not a, um, a request that you receive often. Mm -hmm. So I went back and looked at it and, um, you know, so read it cover to cover. That's how I say you study it. And then highlight main things like certifying a copy, like Victor mentioned earlier, highlight your state fees, certain things you want to highlight in your state handbook. Um, I do have it in my notary bag. Like I said, I, I carry that in my main bag all the time. So I do have my state handbook, though. Anything in Facebook, Alexis? Nope. So we'll go to Jasmine. Jasmine says, found it going to your website and clicking on the Facebook logo. Every time I search it in Facebook, I couldn't find the page. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Computer stuff does happen, guys. But yeah, everything you want to know about notary educators is at the website. Literally, the Facebook. You can join the Facebook there. You can find my YouTube channel, which you already know where that is, but it's on there too. Anything you want to know about notary educators is over there, notaryeducatorsllc.com. So April says, hello, where can I find yeah. it for 
Uh-huh. Oh, we missed Stephanie's question. I did. Stephanie Greer, 820. A what, huh? 820. It was two and 820. Oh, Stephanie, now about the A to Z training, I can't commit to two to three hours Saturday schedule for one-on-one. -on -one. Any way to get another class. So right now, oh, Stephanie, I'm glad you said that. So those classes right now, the one-on-ones with either Angela, myself, or Alexis are at your convenience. And they're about two hours for the live um, that's on sale for this month. So that's when you need it. If it's Monday morning, Tuesday night, Thursday, whatever, between the three of us, we will get you scheduled at your convenience. Sunday, whatever day you need. And that's only on sale again 10 more days. So see what your schedule looks like. Yep. But normally they are on Saturday or Sunday, the group classes. But the, the private classes is at your convenience. Okay. And let's see, Jasmine says, okay, we did Jasmine already, right? Now mm -hmm. we're on April. April says, where can I find info on how to Google My Business should look? You want to handle that, Alexis? Yeah. So one, you can watch Kimmy's videos on YouTube under Google My Business. And then two, you can just take a look at uh, Kimmy, my, or Angela's Google My Business pages kind of a, as a reference point. Um, but yeah, those two things right there get you going. Yeah, so I do have about four or five videos in April on my channel. So look at the playlist. Alexis was on me like white on rice. And she was like, you need to clean up your videos. So I put them in playlists to the best I could. I have to go back. I have over 200. But the Google My Business is correct. And it's about four or five different videos. And like she already stated, you can feel free to look at my page, Nine Better Mobile Notary Services. Alexis is Mobile Notary Services by Alexis. And Angela's is AJ Mobile Notary. But I think if you look at my videos, it'll be fine. But again, mm -hmm. we don't mind if you look at our pages at all. Copy what you want because we're all in different states and different areas or whatever. So if you see something on there, have at it, okay? Uh, you got my permission. Um, not my phone number. And do not call me from my Google page, guys, because I am working, okay? I almost hate to let you see it. <laughs> but don't call me from my Google page normally. Call me from Notary Educators. And that, that phone number um will answer when i can because my main page i will block you probably if you continue to call me on that number i have to because i'm working so i don't mind talking to you or reaching out but it's got to be through facebook or it's got to be through um you website. know some other method it cannot be my main primary number so if you do google my business do not call us on that number that is our main money maker number. And as we discussed earlier, we always put business first. Okay, I got you, but you cannot call my business number. That's a no, no. Okay, please respect that. That one boundary. Because we're pretty open. You guys know that notary educators. If y'all call, we got you. Facebook, Instagram, what's that? Messenger, mm -hmm. all kind of stuff. TikTok, whatever y'all reach out, we got you. But out of our private business phone numbers, we cannot mix the two. We cannot. There's too many phone calls coming through. And I'm stopping to say, hey, I like your channel, which I appreciate it. But you just cost me $185 a postille job. Mm, are we going to still be friends? <laughs> all right, y'all. Y'all got the point. Thank you, though. We really appreciate all the support. We really do. We do. Yes, we love you guys. Uh, let's see. So next we have Angela. Angela said, my face is on my car signs. An attorney complimented the signs today. Get out of here, Angela. That That's is great. Awesome. <laughs> That's, That's what you're talking about. Yes, making it happen. Even an attorney liked her um her magnet. That is so cool. And then what else? Um, what else we got, Alexa? Let's see over on Facebook. Anything? <laughs> Nothing on Facebook. Hi, hey Michelle. Welcome. Hey everybody. So Audrey said, oh, Angela's telling Audrey she can reset her password. So CC says, do you ever need to get a driver's license or passport apostille? If you do, you send the original or certified copy. So the driver's license and the passport are not recordable documents. So you can do a certified copy and have that apostille. That would be the correct process. This is true. Okay. Angela said the LSA course is great. Yes, she did take it with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Let's see what else. Sharonda. What time are we at? Oh. 25. 
825? Okay, hold on, y'all. I gotta go back to 825. Oh, thank you for the condolences. Uh, I think I'm reading that from the Facebook, though. Hold on, because that's how I'm going to cross. Yeah. Angela said the courses are very helpful. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Jasmine, 830, right? That's what I got. 825. Can you read it? Yeah, is the one-on-one -on -one training recorded? So the one-on-one -on -one trainings are not recorded, but we encourage no. you to take notes. Yeah, those are not recorded. That is your session. It's a private session. Yeah. Um, you can talk about whatever you want to during those sessions. Just like we did a Facebook group um, live a couple of weeks ago, that was not recorded. We don't record everything, guys. <laughs> we don't because we wanted that to be a private session again you could talk about whatever you wanted to it was so successful it was and uh, we will definitely do it again um yeah some things i just feel are private we will let you know when we're going to do something and it's recorded but um the one-on-ones are not recorded and um facebook live that was not recorded also our georgia meet and greet was not recorded but we just have a few pieces of video we're going to share that was also private um, Jasmine says, signings have slowed down. I barely get I-9s and haven't got any fingerprinting requests. I do weddings here and there, but I really need help with the extra income. Any advice is greatly appreciated. So first of all, Jasmine, I'm going to have you start with your Google page. Let's see what it looks like. Put it in the Facebook group. Let us see what it, if it, you know, if that's your calling card. If that's not correct, we've already talked about it. So that's one thing. Yes, signings have slowed down a little bit. Take some witness jobs if you see them. You know, a few of those will add a counter offer with witness jobs as those come out. Um, as far as anything else, again, I need to look at your page. Put it in the um, Facebook group. Let's look at it. Uh, Alexis, you got any tips on that for Angela? Yeah. Um, my main question would be, have you gotten out there and passed out your business cards? Have you went out there, introduced yourself to other people, whomever, um, that might need you. Just get out there. That that makes a world of difference. Because you just never know who you're going to come across who might need something on a regular basis um, as far as general notary work. Get out there and get to the nursing homes. Everybody in your area should know you're a notary. Mm -hmm. I'm passing them out two, three, four at a time, even my regular clients. I mean, my um, loan signing clients. So they may eventually need you. Go to nursing homes, hospitals, and they might say, no, nah, we don't need you. We already got a notary. That's okay. Go to the next one. So you just got to really get out there. People need to know you exist. And you can't just put all your eggs into Google My Business. You know, you really cannot. You need to be marketing everywhere. Google My Business is a great tool, number one, that, that we use. You can also try ads if you can have if you have a small budget. You want to try ads and that'll get you yeah. to the top of the list just a little bit until you can grow organically. Um, but yeah, you have to get out there. No one's going to know you're a notary just because you bought some cards and a magnet and you went to the NNA. You know, this, you have to put a little something into it. And that means feet on the ground, boots on the ground, going everywhere. Hey, I'm a notary. Hey, my name is Kimberly. I'm a notary. I'm mobile. Um, I know your clients may not always be able to get out. Is it? I would just like to offer my services, and if you need me, here's my card. Don't act desperate, because we know we need some money right now, right? We know times have changed a little bit in the notary space, yeah. but don't act desperate because people can feel it. Just going there like I just, I just demonstrated for you, like everything in your world is peachy keen. If I help you, I'm doing you a favor. You're not doing me a favor, even though I need your money, right? So don't let them know you need the, you know, they can feel desperation too. You know, build your confidence up, practice in the mirror, whatever that looks like. And then go in there and and wherever you're uh, marketing and get the get the business, okay? And let them know what you can do for them. A lot of times as notaries, we're always about what we can get, right? I need you. I need to stamp your papers. No, what can you provide? We offer mobile services. We're often very kind to the elderly. We're very patient. Let them know what we bring to the table. I'm open 24 hours. I'm open in the evenings. I'm open on the weekends. Let them know what you can do for them. Not all about what you can get, okay? Um, that's why Angela and I and Alexis are very big on customer service. You guys always hear us talk about service, service, service. Um, yeah, Joy and I are doing a one-on-one -on -one tomorrow. I'm excited for it also. Looking forward to it. 
Um, Carla says the meet and greet was amazing. We really appreciate it. And let's see. Rose says, is your Georgia notary book on Amazon as well? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. It's on Amazon. And just to make it easy, again, we just put everything over at Notary Educator. This is a Georgia book for those just joining us. It's orange. And then the gray is for all other states. Okay. And then we just put it over there because this is one spot, one sh one place. So when you click the link at Notary Educator, it'll take you right to Amazon. But you can find it over there, yes. And then um, Akiva says, can you repeat what the $24.50 is? Again, oh, yeah, Makiba. So, all the online courses, which are four of them, you have the Notarize Like a Pro, which teaches you how to notarize documents. Then, you have the Build Your Business, would be like the second course for that one. So, after you learn how to notarize, then I'm going to teach you how to build your business marketing, pricing, all of that is in that video. Then, you have your ink fingerprinting, which is a third course. And the fourth online course would be the I-9 form, how to complete that. There are free videos on YouTube about how to complete the I-9 form. I have a free video on how to complete the I-9 form. But the course is just that. We go over more than one way to do it. It's, not, it's more than one way to do the I-9 form. So you need to know various methods in order to be successful out there. You don't want to have to tell your client, oh, I don't know if I can use that document or not. And I, don't, I didn't see that in the YouTube video. No, you need to be trained. You need to be a pro. All these courses are only $24.50 are designed to help you to be a pro. Not just I saw a YouTube video. I have free videos. I have a free i9. I have a free ink fingerprinting. But I don't give you everything in the ink fingerprinting because you need to know how to do it like a pro. Now, if you can watch my video, and watch 10 more and figure it out, I'm all for that. But if you want the short and sweet version and to be a pro, then that's the $24.50 on ink fingerprinting, okay? Um, the coupon code is notary. And then when you go to purchase all of them, it's already already over there, just in case you forget. Um, each block has what the coupon code is, okay? Um, Angela said, what do you, what does the handbook look like? You have your Georgia handbook handy, Alexis? Yeah. Because mine is in the car. And our website page, again, is notary educators llc.com Angela, I think she should disregard it, but we're going to let Angela get the um, I mean, we're going to let Alexis get the book for other people to see it anyway. Oh. That's the Georgia handbook. Yay! <laughs> it's $10 and they'll mail it right to you. Yeah. So you buy the Georgia handbook where you got your notary commission. Yeah, about how many pages is it? It's, see, it's a quick read. About 100. A hundred? Mm -hmm. Is it? I didn't realize it was that many. Yep. So you still need your handbook. Though. I don't care if it's 200. You need your handbook. Okay. The highlight, look. Highlight. Yeah. Highlight. Writing. To do. They got notes in the back. Yep. So you need your handbook. Okay, so let's move on. Um. So Facebook, where can I find a signature card? I can't find it on Amazon. I don't see it on your supply list. If it's I think the signature card thingy is on the supply list, if I'm not um, mistaken. But even if it's not, then it's called like a uh, for the blind. Put that in there. Um, Angela says she's not going to make it this evening. I said I was looking at my phone. She's not going to make it. We miss you, Angela. So, yeah, put in their blind signature or something like that and something should pop up. So someone in our Facebook group the other day actually said that they put, um, they bought the metal one. So I have the plastic. I like it. I'm not, it's not torn or anything, but they bought the metal one. I didn't even know it came in metal. So, so you get all kind of tips in our Facebook group. So it comes in metal, found that out, and I have the red plastic. What color is yours, Alexis? I don't have one. Oh, you don't have one? Oh, you might want to get no, no, I'm my mother was blind, guys. So I'm so used to knowing how to do it already. Like without a car, I just the one how person I had. How to help the person you need. Yeah, I know how to help the person. Oh, okay. That's the only reason I don't have. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. She has some experience in that. She helped care for her mommy. All right, we ain't getting emotional tonight, Alexis. Don't we not? We keeping it moving. Next. 
Uh, Facebook user, can you hit six figures as a notary? Have you guys hit them before? I have not. I have not. I'm very vocal about um, you can do it. You can. You have a video, but I have not, yeah, you can check out my video on how to make 10000 a month. I haven't done it because I've been caring for members of my family for the last um, three years, actually. Yeah. Um, so I work part time doing my notary business. But it's really like we always say full time income because we make what a, a regular person would make it their full time job just doing this part time. So imagine if we doubled it, then that would hit, right. hit around that mark, probably. Right. Um, so, yeah, I have not hit six figures. I have not. But I know how to do it if I need to. I mm -hmm. teach you how to do it if you want to. That's the best way I can explain that. Um, yeah, because I've been caring for my mom, my sister my father yeah and trying to work and i finally quit my job back in january at the hospital that i had so i do this full time now um so we'll see what the numbers look like for this year and i still don't do it full time because i'm a little older y'all so i i, I yeah i, <laughs> I still always, yeah i got stuff going on y'all i'm dealing with a lot of issues over here so angela says so yeah can you make it though yes you can we can yeah. show you how to do it and it's not just talk matter of fact it's so funny you said that because when i made the video about ten thousand dollars a month jeffrey my husband was like kim is that clickbait so he know all the terminology right he's like is that clickbait because you know youtubers will put stuff out there make a hundred thousand dollars in a month no it's not because i show you how to do it if you don't mind driving around your whole city state whatever you can make money one day angela made 400 dollars on one job somebody reached out to me actually last week they wanted me to drive two hours up to almost near the chattanooga georgia line and i told the person i said i would do it she found me on google and she said i can't find anyone she said well how much would it cost if i need you just how much i said 400 dollars and I, I hesitated a little bit, but I was like, it's two hours there, yeah. almost 90 minutes each way. Yeah, it's going to be $400. Yeah. So that's not the first $400 phone call I've had. People will pay you. You would be surprised at the number of people cannot find a notary. It, it's, it's just amazing. As many notaries as you think are out there, there aren't. They may be on paper, they may be on Google, but they are not active. So people do need you. So we'll keep it moving. We don't want to keep you guys all night here. Uh, let's see. Um, do, do, do. Elo two says, as a beginner, what courses should I start in order? I want to. I want to do everything you offer. So I would highly recommend before you buy anything, let's have a phone conversation. Okay, fill out at Notary Educators LLC um, the contact us card, and that's for anybody listening. Fill out the contact us card. And let us tell you where you need to be. And we don't want you just to start buying courses if you don't know where you need to be. Now, some people know, okay, I've been a notary for a minute. I'm just not sure how to notarize properly. Then you need notarize like a pro. You need the online course. Other people say, hey, I want to be a long signing agent. I don't know anything about it. Then you need a Lexus one on one with that. Some people know they want to do ink fingerprinting. They know they need to do the I-9. They just don't know how. You know you need that. But if you're really not sure what's best for you, we do not mind having like an intake call with you. People tell you, you can see it everywhere you look. We will call you back. They're like, you really called me? Yes, because we want you to succeed. We do. We don't want you just buying courses because we say, no, what do you need? Because when you get what you need, then we get what we need and then we all grow together. Okay. So fill out the contact us card um, at Notary Educators LLC. And the Facebook group, again, is called Notary Educators. All right. Angela says she bought the metal one, too. Oh, cool. All right. Let's see what else we have. Am I missing anything, Alexa? Sharia says, do. That's the next one, Sharia. Does everyone keep their car magnets on at all times? Do you, Alexa? No, I don't. I don't either, Sharia. So what I started doing was, and it's just because my mother used to be paranoid about me putting the magnets on, thinking somebody was going to rob me just because I had the magnets on my car. Now, yeah, I know she was 87. So um, I don't keep it on all the time, especially like if I'm at a Walmart or something, because I have heard just, just out there that people may break in your car trying to find your notary stamp. How often that happens? Probably not that often. But just to, you know, get rid of some of the enticement, I usually put it on when I'm going to an assignment or if I'm just out and about riding around. 
if I know I'm gonna be stationary for an amount of time or parked, I just take it off and leave it in the car. And I got them from Sinazon, so they fold up and all crinkly, and they they un, unfold really good. Cause you know sometimes you get a magnet and it once you crinkle it, it's like stuck. Well, these unfold really good. You just kind of play with it, and it go right back on the car like brand new. And they were fifty four dollars. I think I have the 24 by 15, which is the largest one. And um, they were only $54 for two. So I love my magnets. Um, again, when we do that Facebook Live, the next one, I'm going to show you all my card, my magnets and stuff again. For those who have not seen it. Um, Liz, oh, Jasmine says, thank you. Also, thank you all for everything that you do in your transparency. Oh, yeah, we try to be. Yeah. Keep it real. What they say, 100. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's 100. I think it's 100, right? <laughs> That's enough for me trying to talk, Rick, like every, you know, try to talk that talk. Anyway, um, yeah, so, but it's our pleasure, Miss Jasmine. It is. Yes. And then Liliana says, That's right, Kimmy. Love that. Act confident. That's what I try to do. I've been a notary forever, but I still get nervous to market. Yeah, because it's not our natural inclination to want to go and say, Give me business, right? Right. So I understand that. I still get nervous too. I really do, guys. Um, but you got this, and that's the only way you're gonna get money. They're not just gonna hand it to you. That's it. Danielle says, ladies, can you please explain the difference in my Google business and workspace? I'm in a mess right now with those. Um, you want to talk about that, Alexis? Are you familiar with it? I know we talked about yeah. it a little bit last week. Yeah, so Google Workspace is from what I have used it for in the past, is more for like larger businesses so it's a way for people to all be able to connect and email and um you can have different people assigned to the email and all that type of stuff it's, to me it's more so for like large companies right whereas um and with google workspace you can get like a free not free you pay monthly for a personalized uh, dom I don't know what they call it. I think it's a domain. I don't know what it's called, but it'll be like at um, Alexis's notary company dot com in your email instead of at Gmail. So that's why you're paying for it. You're paying for those different services they offer. So Google My Business is completely free. Google My Business is where a business will go to to, you know, put themselves out there locally in their area. So those are the differences between the two. Google Workspace is for like I, so I just say for businesses, for emailing purposes, to create email account and so forth. Google My Business, now Google Profile, that's another story. But um, that's for you trying to get your business out there locally in your area, advertise. That's completely free unless you do ads, ads cost, but it's free. So if you're yeah, paying so for something, not the right thing. Yeah, so don't forget, I think we mentioned this to you um, about three weeks ago. You don't need that. You don't need that because it's just you by yourself. So like Alexis was explaining, Danielle, um, I know you got hooked up in that girl. I don't know how to get you out of it. I really don't. So you're going to have to try to cancel it some kind of way. Yeah. I don't know what that's going to look like. But you do not need Google Workspace just for yourself. That's like she was saying, if it's a team of you, you want a special email, you want them to have access to your email. It's more like a personal assistant or a virtual assistant, something like that. You all need access to everything, all of your business together at the same time. So, yeah, you got to try to get out the loop on that. I don't know what that's going to take because you asked that question about four times now and we still you still haven't gotten it figured out. And again, we don't work for Google, guys, so we just do the best we can with what we know. Yeah. So you don't have to figure that one out, Danielle. Let's get back over here to, am I at? Angela, 853. 853. Yeah. Oh, Angela said she bought the metal one. I think I said that one. And then Victor said, yeah, $274 a day sounds pretty good to him, too. So to make that $274, you're going to need to know how to price your services, right? To make ten thousand dollars a month and all these big numbers people are throwing out you need to know how to price your services be willing to drive wherever you have to and again i can be kind of picky so i had somebody call me the other day wanted me to go to alpharetta 
I don't just run out to Alpharetta. That's not around the block for me. That's an hour each way. So if I go out there, it's going to cost you. So I'd rather tell you up front, hey, it's going to be so much. You might want to find your notary closer. Yep. Because I am a little higher in the algorithm or whatever, I pop up all over the place. And sometimes that's good. So when I get something I cannot do, I put it in the Facebook group. Oh, I'm glad I said that right quick. So when we get something that we cannot do, guys, or we need a notary. So Angela brought to my attention that because I said, well, sometimes we put all this stuff in the Facebook group, extra jobs that we have or witness assignments and nobody's responding. Right. So Angela says she thinks it's because Facebook algorithm doesn't show everyone every message that we put out. It does. So it doesn't put, do it in order. That's what she told me too. So yeah. um, if you see a job and something you want to do, hop right on it. I did see one other setting that I was able to change recently and it allowed me to not just have it into some kind of private thing, but the group. So I'm hoping more of you now will see those assignments that we put out there. We do not have a signing service. So don't send me your jobs for me to give it to people in the Facebook group. Let me talk about that real quick for a minute. Let's clarify some things here. So I am not a signing service. I don't have a signing service. I have no desire to have a signing service. I don't think I ever will. Never say never, right? But that's nowhere on my radar. So I appreciate you all reaching out to me to give the work that you cannot do to our Facebook members, right? But I'm going to push back on you because I'm doing my own jobs and answering my phone. So I don't have time to navigate your clients. So that's why you need a notary buddy for you and your area. If you don't have one, which we've already seen, and we've been so excited for you guys, you're making buddies within the group. Yeah, That is really, really nice, right? Yes. So I see people exchanging phone numbers and all this. So if you have work that you cannot do, put it in the Facebook group. Don't call me. Don't call Alexis or Angela and say, hey, I have a job. Can you find someone? If I had a signing company, I'd be all over that. Sure. Because right. I'm going to get paid some kind of way. Right. But I cannot afford to try to facilitate you finding someone for your signing or witness for you. I don't have time for that. I'm working. We all are. So put it in the Facebook group. If somebody can do it, they will. If not, then you need to create your own little network of notary buddies that you can call a little faster if you need somebody to respond really quick. Okay? And just real quick, while we're on Facebook, so with the algorithm, if you it, under news activity, if you press sort, it'll automatically be on newest activity, which um, it shows the post with the recent comments first. So it doesn't show it in the correct order is going based off who commented last. So you put, you click on news posts, new posts, sorry, new posts. Now, where is that post. at? Under where it says sort? So oh, new yeah. activity. Right. And you click I on see it. Okay. But choose new posts. So it'll show okay. recent posts first. So okay. I learned that trick because I kept missing stuff in the Facebook group and I was playing around with it and I did that because I'm like I said, I tell you all the time, I wasn't on Facebook prior to. Um, but yeah, I click new posts and then now I'm keeping up to date with the new stuff that everybody's posting. Okay, very good. So that's a tip for everybody there. So hit new posts. That way you can, because we do put a lot of jobs in there, guys, okay. for the, especially our Georgia people, because we're all in Georgia. Now we do teach all 50 states and everyone. However, I don't have jobs for other states because I don't get phone calls for other states. Um, not normally. I will be networking um, as we continue to do, to do this apostille thing to see who's close to the Secretary of State. And someone just put that in our Facebook group, and that was a great idea, whoever did it. I don't remember who, so kudos to you. But they said, hey, get, let's do a roll call of who's close to a Secretary of State. And that was brilliant. That way you know who you can network when you have an apostille, right? So let's hit a few more of these questions, and then we'll start wrapping up here. So can you notarize in any state, Stephanie says? Stephanie, yes, you cannot be a notary in all states, but your documents may come from all states. So that's something you would learn and notarize like a pro, the $24.50 course, if you don't know how to, you know, really notarize documents. And we cover that in that course, okay? Um, Liliana says, hey, everybody. Hey, Renita, E-Love. Hey, welcome, everybody that we did not get to say hello to by name and those on the replay. 
Liliana says, so true. A lot of notaries out there that don't answer the phone. Yes, be the go-to notary. The one who actually call, the one who actually answers customers tell me that all the time. Yes. Others don't answer. And we tell you that all the time for real. I know y'all be thinking I'm just making that up. But believe me when I tell you, people do not answer their phone. They don't. The Angela says she keeps hers all the time. Um, know your worth, Melissa says, and your market. That is so important. That is. Because what Melissa may be able to charge in her market, I cannot. Me and Alexis are in Georgia, Angela too. All three of us have different markets, just a little bit. And Angela and I are right down the street from each other. So everybody's market is going to be just a little bit different. So you have to know your market. You know, are, um, are, is it a more rural area? Is it more urban? Are they more professional? You know, are they older, retired, more income? So you have to know that. Is it just a little school mom? She doesn't have a lot of money. You have to know your market. You have to know your worth. You have to know your documents. You have to know your state law. First of all, what is it that you can charge? Okay. Again, those magnets came from Sinazon. I had already put that in there. When you're signing up for Facebook, I'm going to put this last reminder one more time. And that's make sure that you answer the last um the last question about um being in agreement with the with the group okay miss cc said how is cameron's notary business going <laughs> cameron is doing fine he's actually working on several things um so we'll hopefully can make a few announcements in the very near future um but he's actually doing well he's he's getting there guys he is i thank you for asking too i'll let him know he need to watch this yeah, he's doing good. He's trying. You know, um, young man, you got to put a few ducks in a row in order to get started, but he's working on it. And um, you can also use the appropriate hashtags as well. That helps on Facebook. Oh, like what, Notary Needs? Can you give us something? I think that's Nene. Can you tell us what you're referring to, Nene, as far as appropriate hashtags? Um, if you'll answer that really quick, I'll mention it. And then maybe like your own post together, it moving. I don't understand what that means. I don't understand that. Looking forward to our postel training. Yes, we all are. We're waiting on Angela on that one. Houston has gotten so dangerous and scary lately. Yeah, I think that's going on with all the cities, quite yeah. honestly. So just be cautious out there. If you don't feel like you want to go to that person's home, then you want to meet them at the library. You want to meet them at um, Starbucks. Panera Bread, McDonald's, your local post office could be a virtual office is what we like to call it around here. That sounds something like, Mr. Smith, I'd be more than happy to meet you at my virtual office. Or we can meet at McDonald's or we can whatever. But if you don't feel comfortable, don't do it, especially at night, my ladies. And even during the daytime, you got to be cautious. Yeah, really. Wherever you are, just be cautious, okay? And yeah, Angela's looking for the, um, she's looking for the postel training too. Hey, so Audrey and Gwinnett, very good so anybody in Gwinnett County and then keep an eye out because a lot of people also have back channeled us or whatever you want to call it and say hey can you put my number down when you need a witness that's not normally our process because we put it in the Facebook group because it's kind of like a first come first serve and we don't have time to call I might call Alexis and she tells me oh I'll be your witness Kim and then when I call her and this has happened true story not Alexis but with people and um, I'll be your witness. Call me. I'll go every time. And then I call them. Oh, I'm sorry. I got something to do. Now I got to go down a whole list of people. I don't have time for that. When people call me, I need to get stuff done quickly. Like most of the time, my appointments, if they call me like right now, they need me out there within an hour. So I don't have time to call 10 different notaries that promised me they'll be my witness. And I get that. I'm only asking you to be a witness. So you got other stuff to do, too. So that's why we put it in the Facebook group. And that way I know who's truly available. Hey, I'm available. Let me know. Okay. So that's why I'm I'm loving this Facebook. We say all the time, Alexis twisted my arm, but I'm just loving Facebook. Well, we are going to see if Ms. Nene answered that last question for us, and then we're going to start wrapping it up. Again, all class information, anything you want to know about us is at notaryeducatorsllc.com. Join the Facebook group. It is completely free. You don't have to pay anything to join. Um, so just remember that when you're looking for answers too, okay? Because it's free. We're working. So we don't have, it's not a dedicated Batman line to any of us, okay? <laughs> but, um, but we love you guys. We wish you much success in your business. Okay, so Nene says different hashtags like um, notary near me, notary needed, 
and is is on notary oh 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 no i know what that says i just learned what this means iso notary in search of notary look at me in search of hashtag so use hashtag she says on your facebook groups also that would help to get you business okay uh it's more holding my grand okay oh she said it's a more um hashtags but she's holding her grandbaby so that's a few to get you started and she could tell you the rest maybe on another um on another live okay well guys as always it's our pleasure much success out there to you and yes. here alexis you want to say something and take us home yeah so once again thank you all for joining in thank you all for supporting us and just as much as you all like to thank us, I just would like to give that back and thank you all. And I hope you all have a very good week and we will see you all next Monday. Yes, we'll see you guys. Okay, good night. Be safe out there. Yes, be safe. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you again for listening to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. We would love to be a part of your notary journey. Please visit us at notaryeducatorsllc.com for all of your notary training needs. Also, please feel free to join the Notary Life with Kimmy YouTube channel where Kimmy has over 400 videos that will help you to grow and build a successful notary business. Until the next episode, we wish you much success on your journey. Bye.